escapability. He's not a Slark, in other words. EGM has a cask. Is this yeah. going to be a death? It's only going to bounce once, though, and Ake isn't able to do anything. The Centaur Stomp doesn't go off in time. And those March of the Machines, man. Holy jeez, Sadoi TP's in. Is he going to get a, He can use a Ravage just to get the Soul Kill. Might be worth it in the end. But, and he does use it. It's going to hit Shadow Fiend as well. The Rocket was going to hit him as well, but either way, S4 is going to drop Sadoi. Two more hits is going to take it. Radiance middle tower is under Gush attack. on the face of EGM, and there's the Aww, Anchor Smash. He's going to live. Very well. It's interesting. Go black. Go black. Looks like Solo. Is that Solo? He's going to get RP to the face. Admiral Bulldog and company going to kill him. Absolutely no problem. The call down coming down is going to hit one time on Hyper. Or on EGM, I should say. I'm not going to call it by their sponsor name anymore. Sorry. You all in the meantime taking a Maledict to the face. He's going to go down one way or another. He's trying to do as much damage as possible, but he doesn't really get there. There's the Ravage is up again somehow. And EGM falls. Shadow Fiend will fall. A three for two exchange in the favor. blink second. We could even see him getting the pipe, oh, but I think they still need the uh, initiation powers. Yeah, EGM is going to find BZZ or the other way around. Oh, he's going balls deep. Oh, RP was used on nothing! And BZZ is going to get away. The start he and had, it was actually late boots of travel. I think he got them at like minute 12. Oh which my is god, really EGM. Ay, 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 BZZ is just cleaning them up left and right. He's going to have to right click S4 a little bit. Gush is online. Ravage can be used if needed. Mecha's used though to keep BZZ alive. There goes the Gush. Or the skewer, I should say, and the Ravage to follow. But there's the huge heal from Ake, oh, Ake and a nice net and a Centaur stun. Ake is completely turning this around for his team. Three for two exchange, all because of Ake, despite dying. I think Troll is probably the best creep you can get. So freaking good. Go to BKB as we have a chase here. RP is used directly on Tinker. He's going to get skewered in. And that is the death as Sadoi does not have Ravage, as we talked about, used on one player. Ake is going to get out barely. Thanks to another Troll Trap. No, he does go down to the March of the Machines. Sadoi, though. Cannot blink out. Has his mech up in one second. Doesn't need it yet. Okay, there he uses it. And now Bulldog better be careful. <laughs> TPs for Sadoi. He does get out just in time. Well, Loda yeah. and S4 are actually really close to the top. They're two of the top three. Uh, Sark is 200 gold behind them. Bulldog's going to have to use an RP to get out of this, and he does. Wrecking of Souls to follow. BZZ trying to help heal up thanks to his ult. He's going to pounce out just in time. We're going to see if he can go down. He does go down to the Naga sign eventually. Here's the S4 popping his BKB. Feeling lots of... Wow! Witch Doctor actually gets a pretty good ult off. Goblack goes down in the end, and the chase is on. Yol uses his Rocket Barrage to get away from the illusions that are so freaking annoying from Loda. So it doesn't look like it. Alliance or oh, actually, here we go. This is going to be a huge clash right here. Oh, Sheepstick on Ake to start off this battle. He's going to fall immediately. A huge RP! Holy God Almighty! Two dead is going to have some buybacks in, in addition to this. The Ensnare on Sadoi will ensure the death yet again. It's more about the distribution. Oh, RP at top. Solo takes a Requiem to the side of the face. Sheeps him. They had a four staff, which is one thing that you this. typically see. Yep, blink. Shivas and Blink. Somebody here. BZZ is in Viz. Of course, it's going down a little bit to the Radiance overall. He's going to find Bulldog, who has the BKB and four staff and everything. If he wants to use it, he's getting completely bashed, though. He's going to get away for now. The Urn Charge is going to keep him alive. His Gallback is going to take a Requiem of Souls directly to the Gullet. He will fall eventually, but the Ghost Scepter is going to keep him alive, at least for now. That's for doing as much damage as possible. Pops the BKB. He gets sheeped immediately. There's the song. Gallback. That's four. One right click to kill Gallback pretty damn easily. Okay, make it two. There's the RP on two, along with the double Maledic and the stun and ulti from Witch Doctor. Doing absolute work here. Two for two, the Ravage finally comes out as Loda will actually fall in this engagement, which is very surprising. S4, right clicking to his heart's content as Sadoi. It's a 2v2 right now. And Ultra Girl, make it a fucking Ravage! <laughs> Jesus! I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I wasn't keeping track of the kills in that fight, and suddenly there's just a rampage on the screen. RBZ, whoa, what? It's okay. He died. They do have one on SF as well. He's just holding on to, to fake. Aww. Skewer. RP is now up. It's only on Goblack, though, who can't pop his Ghost Scepter. It looks like he's going to be the first to fall in this engagement. EGM getting his ultimate off, and it's actually bouncing quite a bit. But is this going to be enough to ravage to follow Sadoi? S4 getting targeted again. Did he buy back? Because he is dead. Yes, he did. He cannot Lord, come back. Either.